Hi, I'm Raka Eriksdottir, a knitting instructor with Craftsy.com. Today I'm going to show you how to stick an Icelandic Loki sweater using the crochet method. The sweater I'm wearing is steeked using the crochet method and that means that I could knit this sweater in the round and then open it up at the end to make it into a cardigan. Now I'm going to show you the steaking method using this little swatch here. It's just a stockinette piece knit in the round and it has one purled stitch that runs all the way from the top to the bottom in the middle. And if you look at it from the inside, it looks like a knit stitch. So what I do is crochet into the next knit stitch that's just besides the purl stitch on both sides and I make a little ridge just like I've done here that runs all the way from the top to the bottom of the piece and now I'll show you how to do this on the other side. Now I first need to anchor my yarn to the edge so I go all the way up here into the stitch that I, that I cast off and I get the yarn and then I pull it through the loop that's on my crochet hook once more to anchor it to the edge. And now I am going to work into this stitch right here. It's the knit stitch next to the purl stitch. I make sure that I go under both legs of each of the stitches, get the yarn, make a yarn over and pull it through both loops like this. I always want to make sure that the purled stitch is facing away from me. So I work one of the ridges from bottom to top and the other from top to bottom. And I like to hold it, just pinch it like this. And then I have a clear view of the stitch that's next to the steak stitch. Under both legs, yarn over, pull the loop through. And whenever you have two loops on the hook, you need to pull the yarn through both of the loops. So I'm going to work the way all the way down to the bottom edge of my piece. So I'm getting closer to the edge here, just making sure that I'm going under both legs of each of the stitches as I single crochet this little border. And this, this way I'm just anchoring the, the stitches together and lopi yarn is really clingy. The fibers stick nicely to one another and that's why we need only one purl stitch for the stick. And now here is my last stitch and I'm just going to go right through the fabric at the bottom. Get the yarn and now I can break my yarn and pull the end through like this. So now I am ready for cutting this piece open and notice that the crochet ridges are worked on the right side of the sweater. And here you can see the purled stitch in the middle and the two single crochet ridges that I have prepared and now it's time to cut the stick open. I like to cut from the wrong side because there the stitch looks like a knit stitch and you can use it as a guide. So, so I put my hand in sides so that I don't cut into the other side of the fabric. So I'm just going to go here right in the middle of this stitch hear that sound. All the way up. There we go. And if I fold it to look at the edges, You can see how nicely they just kind of want to fold inwards 
like that. So on the inside, you can see the little edges sticking out where I cut the fabric. And I would add a ribbon for a finishing detail that encases all these little ends and prevents them from, from unraveling. If you want to learn more or knit the mud and sweater, you can check out my class, the Top Down Icelandic Sweater on Kratzy.com.